The nations of the Pacific are on the front line of climate change. Scattered across the largest ocean in the world, these fragile, culturally diverse island states are united by common threats to their climate. Rising sea levels, changing rainfall patterns, increasingly intense tropical cyclones, and warming and acidification of coastal waters. The Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change Project has assessed the vulnerability of 14 Pacific Island nations and has begun responding to these needs. Its goal is to increase their resilience to climate change by developing adaptation techniques for three key areas, water, food, and the coastal zone. Crucial to sustaining life as we know it, access to fresh, potable water is a key issue for coral atolls, which provide limited or no access to fresh groundwater. It also matters to all places where seawater has infiltrated the water table. Among many Pacific Island nations, people can no longer rely on rainfall to gather fresh water. Long, previously unseen periods of drought are becoming more frequent and especially affecting Tuvalu and Tokelau. When potable water is in supply, serious health problems such as waterborne bacterial infections prevail and are linked to poor infrastructure such as leaky gutters and storage tanks, combined with high-density housing farm animals in close proximity, and primitive sewage disposal systems. Farmers also require fresh water for crops and animals, which makes it a vital element of subsistence agriculture. As water is primarily harvested from rainfall, pack pilot sites have addressed catchment and storage by improving on guttering and plumbing and increasing the storage and the capacities of reservoirs in order to sustain communities during times of drought. As water quality is so closely related to health, PAC has installed first flush diverters in Niue and Tokela, which flush contaminated materials from household gutters and divert clean rainwater into storage tanks. At Lofengai and Tekava Toyotoy communities in Tuvalu, water simultaneously conserved whilst the water table is being protected from further contamination through the use of self-composting toilets that use no water. To complement work on the ground, PAC is also working to integrate climate change adaptation techniques into policy at the level of both local and national governments in order that sustainable development become an intrinsic part of future decision-making for the Pacific. Beyond this, PAC is translating its learning into a knowledge base that can be utilized by people who are faced with similar climate challenges worldwide. The impact of climate change affects the poorest people in the poorest nations sooner and more profoundly, exacerbating any pre-existing economic and political stresses they may already feel. But climate change presents both a challenge and an opportunity. Green, low emission, climate change resilient strategies can reduce poverty and grow the local economy over the long run. The PAC project is a great start. We need to do more. PAC is working to help communities adapt to climate change with pilot sites in 14 Pacific Island nations. Supported by the United Nations Development Programme with funding from the Global Environment Facilities Special Climate Change Fund and additional funding from the Government of Australia. PAC is executed by the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Programme and supported by the United Nations Institute for Training and Research Climate Change Capacity Development Programme. Exploring adaptation methods in three key areas. 
PAC is building resilience to climate change.